Next up is the Norco Sight VLT, arguably the best bang for your buck EMTB in the test lineup. This $7,500 build combines a carbon mainframe with an aluminum chainstay, and it features a quality spec with a 160mm RockShox Lyric Ultimate Fork, a Super Deluxe Select Plus rear shock, powerful SRAM Kodar brakes, Maxxis Max Grip Double Down tires with tons of grip, and it also has the most progressive geometry of the bunch. Now, this one is undeniably hefty at 52.7 pounds, making it a chore to put in the back of a truck without some weightlifting experience but it rides lighter than the scale indicates. Compared to the Heckler, which has the same Shimano steps motor and specs, just a bit of extra perceived effort was required on the climbs. At 78.7 degrees, the Norco has the steepest effective seat tube angle of the bunch. This puts you in a really nice upright climbing position, which is awesome in big uphill scenarios. You're able to keep that front end down and charge to the top. When the terrain points straight up the hill, you get tired or you just want to get things done, the motor's boost mode delivers a massive performance jump, but it still lacks a bit of that snappy torque and steady pull of the Bosch CX motor. Pointed downhill, wide open segments and sweeping corners are the Sight VLT's forte, yeah. with the slackest head angle of 64 degrees, the longest wheelbase, and long 458 millimeter chainstays, it really likes going fast and staying stable. We actually hit 41.9 miles an hour on this bike, the fastest recorded speed without feeling sketchy hey. at all. That's some stability for you. On the other hand, tight trails and quick direction changes do show moments of weakness sometimes, and jumping the bike on steeper lips can be a handful as rider position and preload need to be just right. On many trail style jumps though, it's just big grins and air under your wheels. Dude, this bike actually jumps. This is my favorite jumping e-bike out of the bunch. It's official. The Norco's got a little bit of pop to her. I see you, Sight. VLT, I see you. Compared to the more expensive e-bikes, some of the little details are a bit rough around the edges on the Norco. We experienced some rubbing on the upper chain guide, the cable situation is kind of out of control, and sealing on the frame as a whole seems subpar in a few locations. If we were to keep the Norco as our own, we'd want to swap the contact points and consider a drivetrain upgrade once the stock GX cassette needed to be replaced. One huge positive on the Sight VLT, the integrated battery life proved to be really good and there is an additional 360 watt hour range extender for more adventurous riders. That'll get you up to 990 watt hours total and that is really impressive. Overall, coming in with the best price point in the lineup, the Norco Sight VLT shines in wide open bits and gets a 5 out of 5 rating for fun, leaving very little for us to complain about. Be sure to head to vitalmtb.com for a full spec comparison, suspension analysis on all the bikes, and relative performance ratings. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the trails. That was it! <laughs> 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 <laughs>